Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, today we're going to be opening up Astral Radiance ETB. Uh, pretty, I'm not going to lie, I've got some high expectations for this, and I probably shouldn't. Because if you guys saw my video where we opened the booster box of Astral Radiance, we had like the most ridiculous pulls ever. We've actually already pulled the Alt Art Machamp, so we've already opened the biggest hitter card in the set. But definitely still some cards out of this set that we could get. And this is actually really cool looking if you guys have never seen what this ETB looks like. This is my first time ever looking at it outside of the box, but I know nobody's really too concerned about all that. We mainly just here for the packs, so we're gonna go ahead and get these packs out, start cracking them open, and see if we get anything cool out of it. Would definitely like to see, I guess really for me, anything with Hisui and Decidui, like if I got a full art Hisui and Decidui, I'd be really hype over that. You know, Hisui and Decidui, well Decidui is just one, probably my favorite grass type Pokemon. And probably the trainer gallery of Starmie V and Garchomp V would be the cards I would most like to see. So, we shall see. Probably just gonna snip these actually. Because I don't really feel like fighting with them. I've discovered since I started filming that I am terrible terrible at opening packs. I never really thought about it until I started filming. But once I started filming and I was like fighting with the pack, I was like, dude, you are so bad at this. You just need to start using scissors. Like, well, hey, we saw some sparkling back there. V-Star Marker, got the Dartrix, Trekking Shoes, Earth Ring, Yanma, Nickit, Swina, Pet a Little Bird Might. Hey, whoa. Actually, we had two hits in that one. We got a Galarian Zapdos V of the Trainer Gallery card and a Weirder V, not bad. Go ahead and sleeve these bad boys up. Kind of put these to the side. We'll do a little recap here at the end. That is a really cool card. Really cool card. If you've never seen it in person. And the Weird Ear is like, eh. Yeah, I mean, it. An ultra rare, I guess. Nothing crazy, but the Zapdos is sick. Gotta love that, so. Put those to the side for our little recap at the end. Maybe that's a good sign. Good sign as we're going into... I guess it's always a good sign when the first pack you get double banger, but you know, that, that's Astral Radiance. That's why this set's so cool. Still wish it was the Starmie or the Garchomp. I've actually already opened this card, so that's why I'm not super, super hype about it. Ah, I rebuild the code card. We'll just go straight through. Bronzor, Rowlet, Oshawott, Scyther, Stantler, Yang Mega, Latian, yada, yada, yada. Nothing too crazy. Nothing crazy at all, really. I feel like we're gonna hit a few duds, seeing as how that first pack was so good. Hopefully that's not the case. And I really should not have high expectations for this. This was honestly just kind of a random thing. It was like, the CTV was the only thing that was like cool at my Walmart. I wasn't even going to Walmart specifically for that, like looking for cards, but I saw it there and I was like, eh, let's film it, we'll make a video. did not see that code card. At least I tried not to. But I think I see something sparkling as we look at the darkness energy in the dark patch. Magneton, Gape Job Bob, Chow, Ponyta, Rickitop, Psyduck, Petalil, Magneton, and Lucario V. It's a V card. It is a V card. I'm actually not sure I have, I've opened this one yet. Like, I have the the promo one from the, uh, the 10 or whatever, but I don't know if I have this one. And I know I have the full art as well. I have to check my binder and 
let's see if I actually do have what I want. so we don't give it away again. Going four from the back. And let's see what they got from the Sword Force this time. What does Lord Arceus have in store? A bunch of crap. A bunch of crap on that one. You're gonna strike out every now and then though. And that's what you know going in. Don't think you're ever gonna hear me get like seriously annoyed about not opening anything good. What is going on? <laughs> I was kind of worried. I, like, I was clipping the cards and that's why it wasn't cutting. I believe I saw a little glimmer there. Mayhaps. Thought I saw the back card was damaged. You watch it be like an alt art or something crazy. And then it ended up being like a damaged card. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I'm actually kind of great. Glad uh, I do think this is a little. I wouldn't say it's like in bad shape. Oh my God, that is a horrible print line though. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's the glare, but it's like going right like towards the top of the Pokeball. There is a drastic print light on that card so yeah we're we're glad that was not anything crazy because that would be super sad super duper sad <clears throat> just waiting for somebody in the comments to comment on how like i'm not good at opening packs and then like i'm not good at doing the scissors either I don't know if you guys watch uh, the Card Conomist or not. So shout outs to him, cool Poketuber, but he is like a pro at the scissor cuts. Like I'll be watching dude, he'll have like six packs and they'll be like expensive packs too. And he just cuts them all like at once. And I'm like, bro, you are so much braver than me. I would be so scared I was gonna cut a card and it'd be like a big hitter card, but we've been doing this for a while, so I guess he is, he's the master. He is the master. Down to final two packs, I believe, this one. And really, if I'm being honest with myself, that first pack is kind of like the ETB. I mean, this isn't a box, just an ETB. You only get eight packs. And I mean, that, that, that first pack was the box. Like, we can't really expect anything else. We've got a Cranidos, a Pilswine, Joy, Hippopotamus, a Cyndaquil, a Ponyard, a Sumian Growlithe, a Sumian Voltorb, Curlia. Hey! Just as I was saying, we can't expect anything else. I definitely would have preferred this to be the trainer gallery version of this card, but it is a full art and it is of a Garchomp, which Garchomp is just a sick Pokemon. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all would agree on that. Looking at it just off the top, it looks like it's in centering. Looks, uh, I wouldn't say great. I think it's a little off left or right. I'll check out the back. Well, well, we might check out the back if I can keep it dropping it. See what that looks like. See, on the back looks good though. I think it may be a little off top to bottom. I think it's an e it would be an easy 9 if we got this graded. Maybe not a 10, but definitely an easy 9. Let's sleep that up. That's probably the... I, don't, I haven't looked at the, the trainer gallery versions of the birds yet, so, well, I, I have looked at their prices, but not recently, so that uh, the Zapdos might actually be our biggest hit. But for me, it's the Garchomp, because I, I don't have that one, and I know for sure I have the Zapdos. Actually, it would be kind of funny if we got the uh, 
the mole trays as well because then I would have to all sorts. I saw that Coke card, but you guys didn't. Okay, no, I'm imagining things. I'd, I've never really paid attention to that behind there. I thought maybe it was an error card. Shildon, Yanma, Hoot Hoot, Krikatot, Sudowoodo, Combi. Hey, there's my boy. And Rapidash, so. Kind of struck out on that last pack, but I honestly think we did pretty good. What do you guys think? We got the Weird Ear. Got the Galarian Zapdos, Lucario V, and the Garchomp V full art. I think we did pretty good on that. So let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if you guys, you know, what else you guys want to see. You want to see more Astral Radiance. You want to see some brilliant stars. Let me know. Talk to me. Later.